Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for November 27th to the 28th of 2021. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Gemini. What's going on with my Geminis in the next 48 hours, Spirit? What do they need to know for November 27th to the 28th of 2021? What do my Geminis need to know for the next 48 hours? All right, I don't know why I put on that Australian accent. I'm sorry. Gnome, custodianship, toad, fortune. Probably wasn't even good. Blackbird, omens. Overall energy is a mouse advantage. So I think um, Libra got that advantage. Or no, was it? Um, I think it was Aquarius. Yes, Aquarius got advantage. So you may want to check out the Aquarius reading. All right, um, you may find some money when you're doing laundry or cleaning up your house. <laughs> I feel like while you're cleaning house, you find a, a token, a good fortune. Maybe you could be doing some introspection, but you find either a nugget of wisdom or you find a gold coin or something like that. It's while you're looking around the house or looking through old things. It could be a library, old books, old something. While you're looking or in cleaning out an attic or um, a garage or something. While you're cleaning up or looking through old things, whether it's memories <laughs> or physical things, you find something very, very valuable. All right, for Gemini's next 48 hours. What do they need to know for November 27th to the 28th of 2021? All right, let's see. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles. I've literally gotten that for all the earth signs and all the other air signs in some way, shape, or form. So everybody's getting a little seed planted, a little small start to a great, journey as a stable start too so things that we are planning now are going to culminate for a very long time for for a few years maybe all right we have the five of swords someone's worried about you being on this journey or maybe you are either either it's negative self-talk and i'm scratching my right ear okay some of you have people outside of you encouraging you but you're scaring yourself if you i don't know i don't think you have anybody around you talking down to you Justice, Libra, you could though. Yeah, you could. Check out that um, check out that Taurus reading if this one ends up resonating. Two of Swords. Okay, yeah. Overall energy is the Six of Wands. So if you have any kind of court case or battle of any kind, Six of Wands is the overall energy is victory, success, and public acknowledgement. So an overall energy is advantage. So you have the advantage over the competition, whatever this may be. For some of you, it could be legal. And for some of you, it's just a battle that you're going on physically. I feel like there's someone around you who's trying to play mind games or mess with your head. Or they could be um, abusive in some way. I feel like it's verbally or mentally. But you could, um, if you're thinking about taking legal action, you very well can. And if you have evidence like emails, text messages, voice recordings, video recordings, anything, bring it to court. I feel like someone's trying to impede it or stall it. Or maybe they're trying to like instill fear in you so you won't take action or expose them on social media or something do it you have solid evidence page of pentacles they may try to tell you that's nothing you have nothing on me that's nothing no one's going to care about that no one's going to believe you they try to um make it seem like your evidence is nothing or maybe you find old evidence or pictures or something in your home that they try to hide or something but it ends up being exactly what you need expose it or take it to court do something because you you have the advantage you are going to win People, the public is going to side with you and someone's trying to discourage you because they know that you have solid evidence. All right. Clarify this for Gemini. And this could just be a battle within yourself. I feel like you're going to overcome your negative thoughts, negative self-talk. So I feel like that's been taught to you. You've learned to do that. And then you're going to just, you're going to get rid of it. You're going to set the record straight. All right, let's clarify this for Gemini. I feel like I said set the record straight 
for either Virgo or Capricorn. Or it could have been Taurus. <laughs> All right, clarifying the Page of Pentacles is the Six of Cups, something about the past or your childhood or children or something, yeah. So you're going through something old. It could be memories. It could be a library. It could be old files or documents, photos, whatever. It's something from the past. This Page of Pentacles is the fortune, like that nugget of wisdom, that small coin, something small that this person tries to tell you it doesn't exist or it's nothing or you, you'll never find it or it's not important, it won't work, something like that, something about your past. Eight of Pentacles. You could be digging everything up to find it. You will. I feel like you worked really hard for this small token as well. Maybe even working for very a very long time. It may seem like it's small, but it's not. This page of Pentacles seems very tiny, or it may because I feel like you worked really hard for a very long time. And you're thinking about way back when you when you first started. You've definitely gotten very far, and there's someone here who's trying to tell you, you haven't. And I feel like it's a learned behavior from you. Or someone's physically, someone's literally doing that now. Clarifying the five of swords is the two of cups. Yeah, someone's trying to tell you that something that is clearly meant for you is not for you. Someone's trying to tell you it's not. Page of cups, yeah. Someone wants to deter you from a path that is clearly for you. This path is clearly for you. It's going to be very lucrative, very fulfilling, very fortunate for you. And someone's trying to either, again, I feel like for some of you, it's negative self-talk. And for others of you, this is someone literally trying to tell you this. And it's very, two of cups, page of cups is something that's very clear for you. Also, I feel like there's someone around you who's like, not majority of the time they're nasty to you, but then there's that small percentage of them that's nice to you sometimes. Cut that person out. This person gives breadcrumbs to you. Cut them out. Clarifying the justice card is seven of pentacles. Yes, invest, 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 invest. And I feel like there's something here that's clearly meant for you. And I feel like, you're working really hard for it. You've been doing it. You've always wanted this since you were a kid or you've been working on it for a very long time or you started this wind path. Keep investing in it. It's going to work out for you. Yep, higher font, Taurus. Yes, you get that higher commitment, that blessing. Do it. Do it. I feel like it's something you've been working your ass off for and it's about to pay off. You're about to get that promotion or that if you're trying to get a deposit or down payment or something about a building or your own business or something, it's about to pay off. And you just got some a negative, some, this, it seems like nothing. All the cards surrounding it are a great thing. I just feel like you're in your head. Clarifying the two of swords is the magician, Gemini and Virgo. Yeah, you're, if no one's saying this to you, even if they are, if you start saying this stuff to yourself or you start believing them, you're going to block your own blessing. And then the Ace of Pentacles, yes. Clarifying the Two of Swords, which is a stalemate, is the Magician and the Ace of Pentacles. Someone's trying to get in your head because you have a golden opportunity here. The Ace of Pentacles is abundance and a new beginning of stability. Someone who's trying to, ma the Magician, a manipulator, is trying to get in your head. The magician can also be Gemini or Virgo. So I feel like you can manifest that stalemate if you start doubting yourself or believing what this person says. Cut that person off. Page of swords. Yeah, there's someone spying on you and watching you. They And they, they don't want you to have this. They see your potential. They see the attention you're getting. They see the direction you're going in. And they want to stop it. Oh, child. Cut that person off because, I mean, justice is coming. If they've been saying some nasty stuff to you or trying to impede on your progress, it's about to go back on them. I mean, we clearly have the justice card here. Your investments are going to pay off. You are going to get that promotion, that, that level up that you've been looking for. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Gemini, namaste.